Yo, yeah, what's up, you guys? This is a Kink Boulevard FA Front Hub video review for gutadjuster.blogspot.com. Um, great quality hub, and uh, I have some bolts here, and a little bit of a story with this hub. So, um, not even a month into riding this hub, and I had cracked the head off of uh, one of these bolts. Uh, I was doing an ice pick to Smith stall, and head popped off. Um, it wasn't really too surprising. Uh, you know, we're dealing with a uh, 7075 T6 uh, aluminum axle, 15 millimeters. Um, you know, that's a, that's a great axle. It's going to be perfectly adequate for most things. Uh, but, you know, with 3 8 bolts, I've had a lot of bad experiences with them in general. I was coming off of a G Sport Marmoset front hub, and the thing was just a tank. Um, as you can see, still got uh, my birdcage rims on there. Uh, review on that soon as well. But... Pretty much, um, snap the head off, uh, you know, emailed Kink, uh, sent them a photo, did not need my receipt, and uh, about a week later, in the mail, I had uh, received two, uh, two new bolts, and um, the difference is here, and like I said, this, this, this hub is uh, pretty new, I had only ran it for about a month, and... They sent me different bolts. Um, you can see the head design on here is significantly different. Um, if you could see, that's the part that really snapped off. Um, I'm guessing uh, that they have improved their design because I haven't been babying it and uh, it's been holding up fine. Um, the other differences I want to note Beside that head design, which I think is is definitely strong, which is nice, you know, Kink uh, uh, is updating uh, their designs. They're giving you better bolts for the same uh, same price. And um, the other thing, they are significantly longer. Um, in the end, there is a little bit drilled out, but these are not hollow. Um, they are significantly longer. It's going to give you more thread contact between the bolt and the actual uh, axle. Which is good. It's going to utilize more strength of that axle. Um, definitely support that. Um, going to add the littlest amount of weight, but you know what? That's completely irrelevant for the amount of strength that you're going to get. And with that head design, definitely a thumbs up for kink. Um, so, like I said, about a week later, I had gotten two bolts, and they're now in my hub. And then another week later, they sent me another two bolts. Um, that's cool. Awesome. Thanks, Kink. So, four bolts. Didn't need a receipt. Sent them one photo. Uh, they don't really have a, a set, like, warranty on their hubs. Um, a lot of companies don't, but this is just one of those prime examples of if you do break something and it is kind of a bullshit situation because, like I said, I only ran it for about a month and, you know, it was an ice pick to Smith. The, the head of the bolt popped off and uh, I really wasn't abusing it you know I wasn't throwing my bike off of a uh, off of a uh, you know 10 story buildings or anything like that so you know most times companies will help you out um 7075 T6 uh, aluminum hub shell and as you, as you can see I've got I've got literally just about no wear on the hub shell. Uh, this hub really only is about like three months old, but you know, if anything with this review changes uh, down the line, like a year or so later, I will update this just like all my reviews. Um, but I do want to note uh, these hub guards. Um, these are a uh, polymer um, construction. Uh, these actually slide really, really well. Um, I, and like I said, I'm coming off of a G Sport Marmoset with the uh, Marmoset guards. Um, the weight difference is just astronomical. This is one of the lightest front hubs on the market. Um, the exact weight, uh, we're talking uh, 7.6 ounces. Um, and then for the, for the guards, uh, just 0.9 ounces each. Um, these guards are only compatible with the kink boulevard uh, front hub here however they they go on extremely easily and they also come off very easily unlike the marmoset guards and a lot of other front uh, or rear hub guards out there uh, very very nice design um, i've rotated these about like twice but they're holding up really nice as you can see they're taking some wear but they're really not getting too banged up 
it's just the slightest bit bent. Yeah, I can't really get the camera in there, but it's just the slightest bit bent over. However, these are uh, these are really holding up, and um, as you can see, I like to grind. Um, or through my videos, you can see I, I definitely like to grind. Um, I would definitely recommend this hub, though. Anyone looking for a nice lightweight option, and uh, surprisingly, it actually can handle. Um, some four peg street abuse. Uh, if you do have any problems with the bolts or any other part of um, this hub, email Kink. Let them know. See what they could do for you. Uh, you know, Kink really isn't one of my favorite companies. You could look on the rest of my bike. I really don't have much Kink parts. Um, generally, I see them as a company that's producing really nice lightweight parts. They're not going to be the tanks uh, that like G Sport hubs are but you know they'll, they'll do the job and uh that weight is is worth it in my opinion yeah i couldn't ride for like a week but whatever uh, i still uh really recommend this hub uh, if you guys have any other questions or want to see any other angles on this hub feel free to comment or um check out the blog and uh i'll update it there but i'm out